I, I never heard of anybody buying one. And now, everybody's running around chasing fucking monsters and balls and shit. Don't be Everyone bitter. loves Pokemon. Yeah, dude. Don't be that bitter old dude sitting there like, get off my lawn. There's no Charmander here. Yeah, I'd, I would be. I'd be sitting there with a, with a squirt gun. Or no, a with a, you'd be with a Squirtle, dude. You, yeah. you don't fucking know, damn it. Welcome to the Covenant Podcast, Sans Jeff. We have no idea where the fuck he's at. <laughs> like, I don't know. He just... I don't he's know. outside Pokemon hunting. He's <laughs> way too he's, busy to he's, come he's, in. He's, he is lost in Balboa Park hunting for Pokemon. That's what he's doing. Beth said he's really playing that. What do you guys think that he's, really, that he's playing that? Come on. Oh, he'd be so angry if he was here to talk about it. So I don't think so. Yeah, he'd have some shit to say about it. So yeah, Jeff, wherever the fuck you're at, dude, where the... Seriously, where are you, dude? Like, I don't know. You have some explaining to do. It's probably like some of those people who were playing Pokemon Go and wound up in the wrong neighborhood and just got shanked and left to die. Has that happened yet? Uh, there's been reports. Who knows if they're true? Oh, all right. I don't know. It's going to happen sometime. Somebody's going to wander off somewhere they belong. There's going to be somebody who goes into like a like up a mountain and fall down trying to catch like a Zapdos and <laughs> be like done. And, and not to belittle it, but I'm pretty sure that like at least at least a good small percentage of the of the Black Lives Matter protests that are going on, it's people just look, looking for Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh man, I know I saw one over here. Team Mystic for the win. <laughs> oh, have you? Would you guys play it? Are you going to? No, no. we're not. Come no, on, dude. No. It's not part of your childhood. Well, like you know, your your middle twenty, mid twenties, thirties. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know your age, man. You keep fucking with yeah, us. It came out in ninety five. Was the original? That's so cool. The Red and blue. The OG ones. So you would not yeah. play at all. Did you play when no. it came out? Dude, yes. I played Hell all the yeah. time. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Who was your first? Who was your starter? Uh, I had the yellow one, so I had Pikachu by default. Okay. Okay. Uh, and it was, it was actually my sister's, and my dad would drag us to church every Sunday, and I had to go because, you know, I was like 15 at the time or whatever. So I had this Game Boy, and I'd have it, like, down <laughs> while the pastor was talking, and I'd sit in there and be like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> Everybody would look at me. I'm like, I'm sorry. The Christ, power of Christ, Christ compels me. Like, whatever. <laughs> what about you? Would you have? Uh, I had red, and it was when the Game Boy Color had just come out. Mm. So I had the. I think my my starter Pokemon was Charmander. Yeah. Uh, well, that's because it's red. Yeah, it's gotta yeah. be. Well, I I think you still had the choice, but obviously, if you buy red, you're going to pick that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like kind of a default. Uh, so yeah, have you downloaded it? Have you started playing? No, I like. I know a lot. I've I've given Uber rides to people, and they're talking about it. And I don't. I'm sketch on it because I don't want it to absorb my life, and like I'll have nothing else going on. I'll do nothing but like walk around North Park trying to fucking you know hatch eggs or whatever. So let's let's take a step back. Let's describe what it is for people who have no idea. Uh, as far as I know, it's just um, it's Pokemon. It's augmented reality Pokemon on your phone. It's an app you can download, and then you just walk around catching them. I, I don't know. I've... Yeah, so so <laughs> you download it. It's for Android and iPhones. It's basically it's a big map of wherever you are in real space, and you walk around, and you collect Pokemon, and you go to Poke Gyms and battle other people. Yeah. And you, the more that you collect, the stronger you become. Mm -hmm. But it is augmented reality, and whereas when you see one and you collect it, it you have to look for it on your phone and where it is in real space, and then throw the balls at it. Yeah. So it's it's interesting. I saw a funny meme on Reddit the other day where it was a cartoon of a guy doing the Oculus, and his response was meh, and then a. <laughs> Another picture of him doing the Vive and another meh. Yeah. And then him holding the Pokemon saying, this is the pinnacle of augment or virtual reality. Yeah. I don't know. I think I feel like it's been every every person who's played it, even if you haven't played it, man. It's always been a cool idea. Like you really wanted to walk around and be able to catch him. And now you can finally fucking do it. So yeah, now you can tell your friends, sorry, I can't. I have to go out and actually catch Pokemon. Yeah. I'll be back. No, lame. Chad. Just lame. No. Dude, Sorry. what the it's... fuck? No, that's... What? I do have it. I've been playing 
Oh shit, you are. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it the first day when like the servers <laughs> were terrible. Yeah, that's they're where everybody's still, gripe. They're still pretty bad, but they're getting better. It's so freaking cool. You know, Amazon CTO is like tweeted, "Hey." We could help you out. Which would this. be awesome. Seriously. Yeah. Like, Amazon would be able to handle the whole thing. They he's should. Like, I want to play, and I can't because like, the servers are too busy. Yeah. On Reddit, the first couple of days have been nothing but servers down, servers down, servers down. The yeah, whole time. it sucks. Like, yeah. you'd walk around, and you're like, yes, I can finally play. And then you'd go somewhere and just, Bleh. <laughs> it's over. I don't think they've, I don't, I think that just shows that they didn't think it was going to take off. That they were like, oh, we're going to put this out. Maybe we'll get a couple of people. But, I don't know, in hindsight, you're like, who the fuck wouldn't want to do that? Like, growing up with it, like, the whole Twitch Plays Pokemon thing, the first generation blew up like crazy. So, I don't know. How did they not see that coming? Seriously. I don't know. I saw somewhere, too, because there's a website where you can go and check the server status. Mm-hmm. And it was asking for donations like it was a crowdfunded server. Oh, okay. And not like a paid-for mm. kind of thing. Yeah. So I don't know. But I will say if you are afraid of being addicted to something, do not download it. Like, fuck. But, so that's why I can't do it. That's why I can't do so it. So yesterday, normally on Saturdays, I go to Balboa Park and, like, jog. Mm. So I got Jackie into it, and she's never played Pokemon before, ever. And ever? now she's obsessed. Oh, my God. So now, like, we were walking <laughs> around, but after I, my run, we went to walk around Balboa, and, like, it has these little pokey stops everywhere where somewhere you have to go, and you get things like yeah. pokeballs or eggs or mm-hmm. whatever else but they're at the most random spots so i was i'm really curious how they chose them like one of them at the park is you have to find the orca statue which is actually like a little half orca in like the children's playground what? so it's not what? something that would have been on like google maps so or yeah like all these yeah. 30 to 40 something guys running around with their phones out in a, the playground yeah that's gonna go over real well no, there's go, kids playing it too. Come yeah, on. Go, going, just, actually, going to the park, though, most people are like my age or around <laughs> our age who can you, afford the phone. You, yeah. could, you could tell who they are because you see people walking around like holding their phones out in front of them, like <laughs> looking. Or like I saw some guy riding his bike and he was like had his phone open. I thought he's like looking down while he's riding. He's going to crash. Yeah. And he kept looking down. He's like riding his bike to the next Pokestop to go pick up another Pokemon. See, this is where like the Samsung VR thing would be a really advantageous. You just strap on. You don't have to hold your phone. You just walk around and look. And then, oh, oh, there's a Pokemon over there. Oh, there's a Pokeball over there. Yeah, but oh, not everyone. This, this made me really want Google Glass. Because oh, something like shit. that. Because yeah. then you're wearing it. And so you don't have to look like a retard out there holding your phone up, searching for the Pokemon. It's just there. And you can casually turn around and find one. Well, that's – see, now you say that, and my, my HoloLens invitation came through. Mm-hmm. And I think I've got like four or five more days to buy it. And I actually much have to it? tell them what I want to do with it. Three grand. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. No. So – You can go to another country for that. Like you can literally go to another country. Fuck the augmented. I can go to another version. country for half what the Vive costs. That's what I'm saying, dude. But that's the thing. Like it's – that's AR. It is exactly AR. That's what that would be. And I'm like, this would work really well with Pokemon Go. Oh, I'm I'm so excited for when something like that comes out. Because it's still pretty cool when you have your phone out and you like see them in real space with people yeah. walking around. Mm-hmm. Because whatever their formulas are, they kind of like will sit on top of something or be somewhere. So they're not just like on a wall most of the time. Oh, okay. Well, They'll be like, like on a curb mm-hmm. or on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> that's not like when you said on a curb I just imagined a squirtle sitting there and I like I'd want to like go sit down and sit next to it and be like what's up man how's it going <laughs> <laughs> well you see you saw the picture of like the marine so fucking cool up no. at Camp Hamilton like holding some looks like a rhino elephant kind of thing uh right uh, on I, okay I well, know they were like I played the one original one like non-stop I watched cartoons too the cartoons with the shit I yeah I love that yeah it's Did like, you ever see the movie yeah, dude, of course. Hell yeah. He gets Hell all turned yeah. to stone, and Pikachu's like, dude, wake up. You're like, no, oh, wake up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert, apparently. Yeah. If you haven't this seen came it by out now, in like the dude, 90s. Yeah, in like 97 or something. If you haven't yeah. seen it, come on. Like, Whatever. Yeah. I can't how believe you never got. Have I put how did you? You guys have. How did you not ever get into the Pokemon? Everybody's it just done. Look, Everybody Pocket has. Monster doesn't appeal to me. I'm. I don't swing that way. I'm sorry. Did you have? Did you go as far as to get Pokemon cards? Yeah, yeah. My, me and my sister had. It. My sister had a, a giant. Um, I'd say about the size, like almost a real life, well, bigger than real life Pikachu pillow. 
Like no, the whole it's thing. It's about two feet is what he's, yeah. About yeah, about two, two, tall. No, two, two to three. Two, two, three, like, a, you know, like a kid's pillow. Like, we had that thing, and, like, we had the cards, and we had the games, and, like, we every morning at 7.30, it would play on uh, the WB is the channel it was on. Yeah. And we would yeah. watch it. We'd watch it before we go to school. So we'd sit there like, hey, that, yeah, the, the WB, on. you said it right there. That should tell you how not cool this was. Okay. All right. It was pretty it's, cool. It's so it's such a big part of so many people's childhood. I'm just it, I'm just so surprised you've never given this a chance. Oh no, I've played it. I played the game. I played it on when I had the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, uh-huh. I played it. Wait, what, what version? I don't remember. <laughs> You're it was over ten years ago. You're killing me, small. I have a hard time remembering what happened like last week. Ten years I mean, ago it was 2007. No, 2006. It was over ten years ago. Oh. It was like dude, you are missing out. I'm just more pissed that he hasn't played it, dude. Like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know right now. I don't know. Funny. I mean, it's a testament of how much people love it that it's so popular and crashing servers and yeah, like just going to Balboa Park. I at least saw ten people walking around, mm-hmm. like looking for it. And the cool thing about it too is you can go in groups. Um, so, like, if I find a cool Pokemon over here, you can also walk over there and catch the same one. Oh, okay. So, it's not just, like, only one person can see it. Mm-mm. It's, like, it's there. Yeah, for, everyone okay. can go and get it. Okay. But then the interesting part is you have gyms, so you have to join. I was just about to ask. How does that work? You have to work? join a colored team. So, mm-hmm. like, you're either yellow, blue, or red. Okay. Uh, go team blue. And <laughs> you you have to go to – you can go to gyms and battle them mm-hmm. if they're a different color. Yeah. And so once you battle them, then you control that gym. Mm-hmm. And so it's interesting to see if you go to the same spot and you're battling someone, the person you're battling could be like right across from you trying to get their gym back. Huh. Okay. So, so it's kind of like capture the flag for gyms. Like it's not yeah. just there's – because like I'm thinking in my mind it's like the game and like there's one person who's like a total badass. No. And you got to work your way through those fuckers to get to him and he stomps you 20 times. No. You so if you up. take over a gym, you have to leave one of your Pokemon there. And then if they keep battling and winning, you get more points, mm-hmm. or they get destroyed and. You oh, lose. so you can like you can leave like a really jacked up like um, I don't know Raichu or something at yeah. a yellow gym, and then that can he can like hold it for a while. Yeah, oh, dude, that's so until someone cool. else comes and you know takes kills him. Yeah, that sucks. Dude, that's so fucking cool. Though. It's pretty cool. Do they that's have badges fun. too? Do they still give you badges yeah. and everything? They still get badges. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Chad's just, giving me this blank look like you two are fucking idiots. I, I'm just all I can think about is how I found a Charizard card one time outside of a laser tag place. Ooh. Nice. Was it was it one of the shiny ones? No. Oh, it wasn't well, one of the super right, so but basic. it was a Charizard right, here, card. Yeah, I mean, still I All right. You know, the basic ass Charizard want that. <laughs> what? Take that over I mean at at the peak of it, you could have got rid of that card for money. Yeah, definitely so. Yeah. Speaking of money, like the like I said, or I didn't say here, we were talking beforehand, that the stock alone for Nintendo has gone up ten percent since this came out. Like yeah. and Nintendo's not even an affiliate of it. Like they just license the whole thing out. So like you were saying, it's a testament to how much people love this. Nintendo's not even behind it. Like they didn't put their full weight into it and it blew up like I crazy. wonder why they didn't. Fuck, I don't know. They've been they've been really sketch on like you'd think so like in the app store you'd think that they put out all their classic games like Castlevania. Yeah, and the Mega I was Mans. wondering why even Pokemon like the original didn't come out for iPhone that you could just yeah. buy. Yeah, like I would I'd buy that for like five bucks. Hell like, yeah. Yeah. In app purchases, you can buy like TMs and like yeah. all the other stuff. Yeah. You could buy like, you know, surf and everything before you needed it. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, I don't know. But I mean, besides just the game it's going to have a lot of other impacts. So one, like just myself, I was out walking around just more and ge- or more than normal just to go find stuff. Like over here, like a couple blocks away, there's mm-hmm. a couple pokey stops, there's a gym. So in the afternoon we were kind of sitting here bored. I'm like, "Well, I'm going to go for a walk. I'll see you later." <laughs> <laughs> so we went out, I went out and did my round. So I think just it's one it's going to get people out of the house who normally would be in the house playing video games. Now yeah. you're out like at the park running around trying to find things. Mm-hmm. And like if you have eggs, you have to go so many kilometers to hatch them. Yeah. You have to walk around and move them. It's like a Tamagotchi back in the day. You have to like shake it yeah. or whatever. So now there's going to be like a Pokemon weight loss plan <laughs> or program. <laughs> It'll be like fighting type Pokemon. You only collect those and then they get you out <laughs> moving. Yeah. Yeah. All right, to keep to put this in perspective, this is in Japanese yen because it's not traded domestically in the US. Uh for the week, um it is up one thousand three hundred thirty five yen 
uh, or 8.94 percent to 16,270 yen per share. Uh, that was the last stock price reported on July 8th. So, so yeah. almost nine percent is a pretty it's huge, pretty big jump. Earlier yeah. in the week, it was trading as low as uh, it looks like around 13,008. Somewhere around in there, thirteen thousand nine, around right at fourteen thousand, and now it's up to sixteen and a quarter. Can you imagine being the first person who thought up this idea, and like the guy at Nintendo who's like, "Oh, that's a good idea, dude. Fuck yeah, we should do that." And now look at your legacy. Like that's yeah. Pokemon's never going away. I actually ever. saw a picture uh, of the Simpsons that someone posted the other day that said Simpsons did it first. There's like a picture of Bart holding his phone and there's a Pikachu on the phone and like a little ball. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting. Like the whole meme that Simpsons did it. Simpsons have done everything first. Yeah. There was a South Park episode that was Simpsons did it first. Yeah. 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 I think because the game is free, I was really curious, like how are they making money off of it? Because normally if it's free, you're going to have in-app in -app purchases, but it doesn't seem like you need that stuff yet unless you want to really like, have a ton of Shoot pokeballs up. or something ah, yeah. like they're, that. They're selling your location. Everybody's wandering around all over the place, and they're keeping track of every. Move. I I thought about that. There sure. was somebody who was like, they posted. Uh, it was another meme, and it was like, what you think it'd be in real life, and to go out and find Pokemon, and it's like at a and like there's this beautiful meadow, and there's nothing out there. And it's like what it really is. And it's at a Walmart and there's like Pokemon everywhere. <laughs> so like they could totally do that. If they want you to go into a store, like they could partner up with Tilly's or uh, Dunkin' Donuts or whatever. And there could be a shit ton of Pokemon there. People come there and then make you buy your food too. Well, I think it's already happening. I think there's going to be a, even an economic impact from this because you're going out to places that I normally wouldn't go out to. And so mm -hmm. even if I don't necessarily go into all of them, I'm at least being introduced to something that I didn't know was there. Yeah. And so that's just me. There's a million people or however many people doing yeah. this. So. It's only gaining traction too. Yeah. So I think, I think there'll be a Pokemon economic boost from Pokemon <laughs> go. I saw some, some article of like a dairy queen or it was something like that that had a sign up that said, uh, Pokemon are only for paying customers because I guess they were at a pokey stop mm -hmm. there which is dumb. I think they should. Or the article was also talking about how if you're lucky enough to have your business at a pokey stop, mm. like capitalize on that. Oh, yeah. Just seriously. Cash in. Yeah. Because it's not something they ask for, but you can just everyone is going to be coming by your stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so I would give a discount. I'd be like, hey, dollar off a of blizzard. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a good business practice, I think. I, would, I wonder if they're going to open up like Poké Centers too, so that way, like you, so instead of buying it through the app, you'd have to go to a spot like at a Starbucks, and that's where you can buy like, um, like I don't know, revives and shit. That would be pretty sweet. Yeah, pay like ninety nine cents for it. Like, can I get a ground day? Blah blah blah. Or can you, you can just my... go there and heal your Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, like a legit center and everything. That would dude. be sweet. Yeah, that'd be cool. I think so. eventually, maybe, uh, they the app still has some bugs, like the GPS isn't super great oh. yet like mm -hmm. i'll be walking and it takes a minute to, for it to catch up mm -hmm. but it's pretty cool you i should give try it, it. you should try it chat that's the worst server lag ever yeah <laughs> but i mean it's an independent third company they don't have the like the, well, when they started they didn't have nintendo's backing now like now that the amazon tweet happened yeah like if they start getting like amazon behind them google behind them nintendo actually puts their weight behind them this thing will take the fuck but off the, but that's even the thing so. too that there's there are military exercises going on on the west coast it's gps is totally fakakta you mm. oh that, i remember that, happened, that started that. like last month oh so, yeah, this is like the worst time to bring it out here. <laughs> How long until there's like a uh, like an accident that's reported? On oh, the there, already, yeah. there already has been like a car accident or something <laughs> like that. All right, the big one I saw was like some kid was playing like out, like wandering around trying to catch Pokemon. And he came across a dead body like in a, <laughs> con in a canal. <laughs> All right. So, wait, what? which one is worse? <laughs> revive, revive. <laughs> Not effective. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Server busy? What the hell? No. It's so the worst what, Pokemon ever. What's the worst? Is it because like I, I look at this and how people are, are reacting to it and stuff, and I look at it the way I did when Warcraft first came out. Mm -hmm. World of Warcraft, excuse me. And I'm thinking, is it worse that World of Warcraft have people has pe had people sitting just in front of a computer doing nothing all day, not interacting, not going out, not doing anything, just playing World of Warcraft. That's all we're doing. We're doing raids, we're doing dungeons, blah 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 blah. Or is it 
Pokemon Go where everybody's out running around, running into walls, running into dead bodies, you know. I would say at least they're running. Yeah. That's, I, yeah, I don't think that, many, that many people are physically running. Like, uh, you weren't at Balboa Park yesterday. You okay. would have seen people actually like running I'm going to go there after this. I'm going to go there. It's like, fun. Walk, look around and go, see. Like, go download do it. it and go play. Okay, I'm going to try. It's fun. Go. But play, prepare play. for your life to be gone. Fuck. You'll, uh, you'll be sitting know. at home watching TV and be like, Damn, there's a Pokestop like a couple <laughs> couple blocks away. Just like five minutes. And then you'll be gone for like an hour. Because you'll go out to the Pokestop and be like, well, there's another one over there. Or, oh, I see some grass movie. I'm going to go check it out. <laughs> no, you'll be gone. Yeah. That's what will happen. What's going to be your team? Like, did you did you ever like a certain type? Sorry, Chad. I'm getting so like side. No, we're going to geek out on this I'm for a while. It. I'm just going to go download, download, download it right now. Yeah. Uh, What's going to be your, your is, can you only hold six? Cause like that no, was the original. You can hold a ton. Okay. So the objective for this one is, or the secret is you want to catch as many as you can over and over. Cause the way to rank them up is to, so say I caught like a million Zubats. Okay. I, <laughs> Cause they're fucking everywhere. They're, they are literally everywhere. <laughs> And then I just trade in all the weak ones, and I get uh, Zubat candy, and I can rank my my big one up. Mm-hmm. So that's how you have to power them up, essentially, okay. or evolve them. And, okay. and it's funny. It's like users also installed Metrolink for Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get around, dude. You yeah. like the, the bikes, the, the run of bikes. So when you start it, you get to pick which of your starter Pokemon, whether it's Squirtle, Charizard, or Bulbasaur. And then you get to go from there. What'd you pick? Uh, Charizard. Charizard. Or not? Or Charmander. Charmander. Yeah. Fuck. Oh. I'm it, not, I it's w- cool. I do. I do think that, like, this will open up the eyes to people that augmented reality will be the next thing. Like, this is the first one. I'm sure many more games are coming out like this. Like, I think VR. I mean, we just played VR last week. Yeah, which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It was, How was that? Because I like. I literally <clears throat> had just sat down to eat. Oh, there it is. Okay. There it is. <laughs> it's the music, man. I'm, I'm a little disappointed that's not the theme song. Are, are you getting wet? <laughs> Just wait until you hear the Pokeball move as you catch something. It'll bring back old memories. <laughs> that click sound is the uh, yeah. best sound the in the world. The satisfying, like, yes, oh, the capture yeah. did pop out. Um... Yeah, you know, keep talking about the VR. I'm, I'm still listening. So VR yeah, now. was VR was. Oh, now you're distracted. <laughs> yeah, like I'm kind of like I want to like I can't now, see his now, phone. Now so you want to download fuck. it too. I do. I don't want to interrupt the podcast though. <clears throat> <laughs> VR was really cool. So we we went and played on the Vive, right? Yeah, yeah, it was the Vive, and it was definitely. I think I went in and had low expectations of how it was going to be. I kind of thought it was going Super to be low. like a little hokey, but cool. Yeah, but like. Kind of like VR at an arcade when you put like a one of the games that goes on over your head and you kind of turn around like you blast people at the beach. Have you ever played that one? No, it was like no, a big it, yellow. It sounds like a game. terrorist attack to me. <laughs> it's pretty much like that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but uh, putting it on was awesome. Yeah, I had low expectations too. I thought it was going to be like you just said. It was going to be like, oh, this is cool. Like, oh, look my hand, and oh, there's something cool, and it's kind of you can see over it, but. No, like definitely surpassed every expectation I had for it. It was so for fucking me, cool. I think the headphones make the biggest difference. That would yeah, have if we would have had headphones on, then I for sure would have been lost into it because already having it on, I would lose my sense of space and yeah. even direction. So I'd take it off and be like, "Oh crap, I'm facing the complete opposite way that yeah. I thought I was facing." Yeah, um, yeah. And the, when we were playing the space game, the one where you have to, there was two guns you were shooting. Um, we, yeah. we only had the laptop and I was trying to audio cue if there was something behind me and I heard yeah, it was too hard. So I kept trying to turn around and go like, oh fuck, there's nothing there. And then I See, died. that's, that's how it was for me. I, there's a guy who's developing a zombie game, obviously. Yeah. Uh, dude, that zombie, that zombie one game, was <laughs> freaky as fuck. <laughs> Sorry, dude. There was Screw a, there, that. Yeah, there no, was is a it good the one, one where there's like the one crawling on all fours? No, it was like, oh, you're, you're standing in the, worse. you're standing in the middle of like, it's. <laughs> Like a it, forest. It looks like the ghetto. That's what it looked like to me. Like you're in the oh, really okay. like you're in an abandoned park, and there's a bunch of zombies crawling at you. And you have one hand is the gun, and one hand is the flashlight. And then oh, uh, you're yeah. you're stationary in like this little area. You can turn left and right and move like pretty much the size of Rob's rug. Um, I don't know. It's about what six by six. Uh, six more like, like eleven by twelve. Yeah. Eleven by twelve. Yeah. So it's the size of like a you know a living room rug. And then there's zombies coming at you from all sides. And it legit freaked me the fuck out. I turn around one time and I shine my uh, flashlight. And I was like, oh, fuck. 
<laughs> yeah, they're right there. That's the thing. Yeah. Like, the first time I played the zombie game, I had on, like, directional headphones. Like, they're oh, supposed yeah. to be 5.1. Yeah. So I could hear things behind me. That's oh, legit. Screw that. And it totally sounded like it was behind Hell yeah. No, you want that. Because yeah. Because yeah. when I played it again with just, like, some regular beats, mm. and then all of a sudden, I, it, like, out of nowhere, uh, behind me, and I'm like, what the... And I turn around, there's like eight zombies standing right in my face. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because they're all blood and goo and everything. Just watching, like, <laughs> watching Jeff play when he was playing, like, his body language was so, like, tense. Yeah. And, like, Dude, I wish we had video of that. We should have got video of that. It's somewhere on Twitch. I don't know if it gets recorded or. I don't know. Yeah, how, I, think I don't know how that Twitch land works. <laughs> I don't know that stuff. Yeah, like, you should have seen it. Like, when he was looking, he was. His, his literal body language went from like, oh, that's a like tense, like, oh crap, there's some behind me. Like, he was tensing up. He was like, he was doing the wince, like, you know, when you like lift he was your about leg up. to be hit in real life. Yeah, like when somebody throws a, a ball. At... BB up that tight, puckered ass. Yeah, dude, like when no. somebody throws a ball at you and you're like, oh fuck, you don't want to get it. He was doing that the whole time and he just wow. had the vibe on. It was yeah. so legit. So, I, yeah, it's definitely cool and definitely exceeded my expectations about. I, I could, like the paint one we did where you oh, can dude. paint in 3D. Yeah. I could stay in there and just mess around for hours. Right, yeah. Now, the question is, is it 800 bucks cool? Not I, yet. It's, oh, man. If, if you it's got close. Some, yeah. If you got some good developers to make, like, legit games, if you got some serious studios behind it, and then they dropped it to, uh, I don't know, what, six maybe? I'd probably yeah, drop, I would pay six. I'd, dro- I'd drop six hundred. I think bucks. 99 but, I mean, would be the magic number. You hit right under 500 five, bucks, yeah. people are going to be all But, I mean, on top, you can't just have that. You have to have a computer who can handle it, right. too. That's the and other thing. And you've still got to yeah. pay for the games. A lot of these games yes. are, You're while looking not at, like, the, a $2,000 investment if you have nothing. Yeah. You know, with I mean, games and everything else. Well, I mean, some of the games, like most of them, aren't like busting your bank. You know, they're they're like five bucks, fifteen bucks. It's sure. not that bad. It's not that bad. No. Yeah, yeah, it's until like EA and everybody else gets. I, st- a, their I still hands don't think they'll be oh, well. Dude, Madden like twenty seventeen in that. Holy hell yeah. shit! Fuck yeah! Sorry. No, yeah. No. Whatever, dude. Whatever. You don't like Pokemon. No, I just don't see the the crazy allure of it. I can't even sign in. It's I, it won't let me. Oh well, the servers are busy because everybody's just, playing it besides you, you. That's why. Yeah, so I'll just wait till everybody's got all their stuff. I'll come in and clean up, and you know, make you all look like chumps. That's how it works. Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, like the the vibe, like I don't know, under yeah, six hundred bucks, and then some serious developers. I drop that money for because like the. And the videos that you see on YouTube don't do it justice at all. When, no. Once you put those goggles on and, like, you're really in that environment. Yeah, even like, just watching yeah. it on Twitch, like, what you guys were seeing mm-hmm. or seeing it on the computer Not screen. The and then you put no. it on, it's like, oh, it looks way different. Like see, the castle one you guys so were playing. Much different. The, yeah. The yeah. Legend of Zelda, the OG Legend of Zelda mm-hmm. port, like, they didn't redo it. They just ported it so you're walking along in that map. It's still the yeah. same 8-bit, you know. Mm-hmm. That I could get behind that all day. I yeah, that would that be cool too. All day long. Yeah. Don't make new games. Don't try. Just give us the old ones in this this format. We'll be happy. Yeah. And, and Madden. Re- oh, I want to be. Madden. I want to be a quarterback. Yeah, that would be cool. And can you imagine the crowd too? And then like, oh, you have headphones so awesome. on that roar, dude. That's like that's like rock band <clears throat> or guitar hero for that too. Like yeah, that for, would be cool. For sports. Yeah. It'd be hard to see your guitar. Like you'd be looking down the whole time if you played rock band. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not talking that. I'm oh, talking okay. like and when you're in the sports and like say you're on the Super Bowl and like, you know, you score that touchdown oh, and then you yeah. hear in your headphones a crowd erupts. That'd be so that'd be fucking awesome. Weird. And then Taco Can Bell. Can you go run over and do the Lambo leap? Yeah, dude. That'd be <laughs> sick. Wait. Yeah. You get extra points if you nay name and dab it out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, going back to it, I think VR is awesome and it will be there for games and for porn. But I think all augmented reality will take off even ahead of that i think with this will show that more people can do something like this and if they could make a headset that was cost effective or even if it was a 400 or 500 hundred dollar headset that just bluetooth to your phone mm. then you're cutting out the computer component of it uh, there's the, bluetooth wouldn't support it not even not even the so. standard would do it no so. there's Could. no bluetooth based off an old serial connection it's it's just a different form, form of rf from ir they're trying to boost it and get it a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. But there's so much error correction now, and it's it's such a short field. Yeah. It, it, nah. Nah. So it's, they need to invent something better than Bluetooth. Nah, just do it Wi-Fi. That's true. 
That's mm. or I, you know what? I could but stay tethered to my phone. But if I'm out in the park, phone. I don't have Wi-Fi. No, it, I could I could stay tethered to my phone. If my if the headset yeah, plugged true. into the phone and I just stuck it out in my pocket or in, you know whatever. That's true. That yeah. would work too. I could live with that wire. You know, yeah, and I mean, it's just going. In, it's just like headphones, like HP and yeah. uh, a couple of Dell and somebody else. I think Lenovo even <clears throat> trying oh, to shit. make a backpack. Fuck! What am I thinking? You do USB, like you, because you can take your, you can go your phone through that to your car stereo. Why wouldn't you be able to just connect the USB from that to the goggles or something? Well, yeah. it's still the bandwidth. Because remember, you if it's 1080p, you got to push two of those. Yeah, hmm. at both once. Eyes. And I mean, even USB C is still with USB three with a C connector, still not quite enough bandwidth to do it all. Because then you've got the audio, then you've got the motion going back and tracking it and everything. But and, augmented reality, yeah. you're not going to need like a full screen. You're just doing little blips. No, the, but the then you're shifting from VR to AR. You're shifting the processing power from the graphics you're displaying to mapping your environment and knowing that, oh, I'm going to stick something on a wall. Well, I need to know that's a wall there. And I need to know exactly where it is and how big it is and, and what angle I'm looking at it. And trying to map 3D space, it's really interesting because the the photogrammetry, photogrammetry talk, like the guy was talking about how the software does it and how you, how you define a point in 3D space. You have an X, a Y, and a Z. Sure. And my first thought was no. If you want accuracy, you have an X, an X1, a Y, a Y1, and a Z, and a Z1. You get six points. Well, yeah, if you have more points, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. and that's that's going to tell you more. That basically, roughly, it it doesn't work out to be exactly double. It's about 85, 90% more number crunching power you need. Yeah. I I I feel like just rely on the phones. Yeah. I mean, I feel like with augment with the augmented reality thing, it's easier because you don't have to add extra stuff to your phone. It's just you download the app, and it's right there. With the VR thing, like you are saying, it's hard to map the 3D space. That's something we kept running into is Josh was his name? Mm-hmm. He, had to, he had to recalibrate the room a couple times because, like, the thing – I don't know what happened, but it wasn't – Did he use his cubes? Yeah. Yeah, he had a cube. It's up in the top corner where the, um, the wall meets the ceiling. He had one in one corner and, and one, one in the, in the opposite, other. opposite yeah. corner. Yeah. And then I'd say he had like we were there for a couple hours. He had to recalibrate. It the almost room twice. needs one on the ground too, because like painting, we crashed into the ground a couple of times. Like with your brush. oh yeah yeah, I accidentally hit the ground one time. I was like I did too. Yeah, I was like fuck. I hope it didn't break his thing. I don't I have <laughs> well, the money to pay for this. The interesting thing too is that with the Vive, I I've seen it recently where you had two cubes watching, mm-hmm. and you basically had two headsets, two different computers using the same two cubes at once. Hmm, that's hmm. cool. And you could play against each other, or you could play two totally separate things and not even worry about it. Mm-hmm. Could they'll, they'll track both of them fairly accurately. I was, I mean, they're not that far off, but it's, it's still, it feels a bit, for want of a better term, Duplo-ish. Hmm. Like, du- like, du- like, like there's, there's Duplo, there's Lego, and then there's Technics, the model shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we're still at the Duplo stage. It feels mm-hmm. clunky and kludgy and not quite... Yeah, it's still... Like, it's definitely... Like, if you compare to where it is now versus where it was five years ago, it's leaps and bounds beyond it. So give it uh, another even, five years. You can go back 20 years. Yeah. Because I mean, they had the big, like, stand-in-the-circle thing, and it looked like, uh, you know, some kind of Thomas Dolby 80s video kind of graphics. <laughs> And it's just yeah, and th- like they would, you would pay five bucks to play five minutes of that shit. Yeah, and the headgear was like this huge, it was yeah, massive. I think something they need to work on, or we'll look back in ten years and laugh about how ghetto our VR was. But like this thing has big old cords running to it from your head to the yeah. computer. Yeah, even the cubes in the corner have big cords running to it. So once they develop some kind of new Bluetooth or wireless or whatever connection it can be to your computer so you can go hands or wire free. Yeah. That, would be sweet. that was a weird thing because you had to hold, we each had to hold the tether behind the person. So like, I feel like you were walking them kind of. So yeah. it's kind I of mean, like, you didn't have to, but then especially the paint one, it would get wrapped around your leg and yeah, you, you don't want to trip over and like break it or anything. Well, that again, that's the thing. Like if you had the PC on your back, 
But then you like in a backpack. Now you look like a Ghostbuster though, <laughs> and you got to carry the. And is around. that a problem? How cool would a Ghostbuster VR game be? Dude, that would be legit. Hell yeah, you get the little uh, stri- don't cross the stream. But see, there. but see, <laughs> Ghostbuster uh, AR augmented reality would be awesome too. You have to go into like the library and blast ghosts. It might be on something because then it could take real space. Like you're just walking around the park blasting ghosts. Yeah. Now, l- now literally, like I guess it's about eight. Yes, yeah, yeah, seven or eight years ago. Laser tag, the the name brand, came out with an app, and their guns had like things you put your iPhone in, and you would ha- you could play and, and get targets and power up and stuff, and you could play against other people, and nobody did it, nobody huh. bought this stuff. I I never heard of anybody buying one, and now everybody's running around chasing fucking monsters and balls and shit. Don't be Everyone bitter. loves Pokemon. Yeah, dude. Don't be that bitter old dude sitting like, get off my lawn. There's no Charmander here. Yeah, I'd, I would be. I'd be sitting there with a, with a squirt gun. Or no, a with a, you'd be with a squirtle, dude. Is what you, yeah. you don't fucking know. Damn it. Fuck. No, I know. You're killing me. I'm not saying I don't know. I'm just saying I don't like it. I know. Come on. Who, who the fuck doesn't who doesn't know what a Charizard is? Apparently you. I, I did? Know. I'd like, I, have, I have no faith in you anymore. Uh, whatever. No, I'm just done. It's over. <laughs> I'm over. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Do you, uh, do you want to try shooting into a game or? Yeah, let's play the game. So we're going to play Amazon Amazover. So why don't you tell them about the rules while I get it set up? Um, so basically we have prices right rules, right? It's going to be yeah. we're going to try to get close to the actual retail price or actual uh, Amazon price without going over. You go over, you don't get any points. You get close enough. Um, we add all the total points together. And whoever has a score at the end wins. Yeah, so it's just two of you, so it's it's the battle. <laughs> it's a battle, yeah. Pro Pokemon versus anti Pokemon. That's, that's what it is. Uh, I'm not so, anti Pokemon. It just doesn't. It just that appeal baffles to me. me. That's so baffles me, dude. So uh, this, uh, so all of them are available on Amazon right now. It's all Amazon Prime. So these are all between a dollar and fifty dollars. So you can go up to $50. So this first one is the NBC Sports 2016 Olympics uh, medal pin. So it's to commemorate the Rio de Janeiro Olympics. It has like a... It's like a lapel pin. Yeah, it's a lapel pin. It's officially licensed. It's about an inch by an inch. And it's it's great. The, The graphic of it is just awesome because it's like, Jesus... Blesses this unholy land of disease and so, virus. What's that thing in Sao Paulo? That, that, it's the, Christ the Redeemer yes, statue. Christ the yes, Redeemer Christ statue. Redeemer. But yeah, it looks it's, horrible. It's yeah, it's the it's small. It's, it's small. a statue overlooking like the city skyline with the Rio Olympics and logo. The horrible Rio de Janeiro stock fonts too. I yes, just, that makes me want to vomit. My the, my inner designer is screaming right now. Mm. <laughs> you gonna go first or me? Uh, it's up to you. Rock paper scissors. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go one, two, three, shoot. Okay, okay right. all or nothing. No two or two out of three bullshit. I got gotcha. you, right. dude. One, that, two, three, shoot. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. okay. you need to do it again because that was terrible. Okay. Uh-huh. One, two, three, shoot. Ready? All right, ready? One, two, three, boom. Oh, Bam, you got I go me. first. Okay. <laughs> Uh, five bucks for this. This is the because who wants a 2016 real one if you weren't there? Like, are, did your dad <laughs> die? They are Olympic nuts out there. I don't think this one's got it. Though. I'm with you. I'm going three ninety nine. Like, did your dad die and you bought something to commemorate it? Like, it's the, I don't know, man. Three ninety nine. That's your official. That's the, oh five bucks. Yeah. Five and three ninety nine. Okay, so you can go on Amazon right now and buy this for eighteen eighty nine. No, why would and there's three different types. You can collect all of them for like fifty some dollars. Who would do that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you have collect all the Olympic pins. The hat, like a third of the world's not going to be there because they're scared they're going to get the cooties. Maybe that's it. Maybe you can't go to actually collect the real one, so So you you have have to buy buy it online because you're afraid of (laughs) Zika, Zika, or just hepatitis B. You're afraid of death. (laughs) That's just piranhas. All right, the next one for Chad. Yes. It's a Pikachu backpack. Yes, that's so fucking so cool. It's oh, a, dude, dude, wipe your pants, man. Come on. It's so a Pokemon cool. Pikachu 16-inch canvas backpack with 3D plush ears. So essentially it looks like a big yellow backpack with Pikachu's face on it with big Pikachu ears popping out. So you can use this, Chad, while you go around and collect your Pokemon. Yeah. You can put your Poke items in your backpack. <laughs> yeah, that's not gay in the least. That's. <laughs> I think it's legit, dude. 
you missed uh, out. You've missed out on a big part of humanity. I was so yeah. excited when I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that fucking face. That's so it's so like, cool. It's 16 inches high and about 12 inches wide. So it's like it's a normal size. size backpack. Yeah, it's a backpack. All right, Steve. Come on. You walk into coin off of this, you're getting high five the whole time. People would love you. Especially right now. <laughs> um, I... I would be. I think Amazon has this for twenty four forty nine. Oh, fuck. All right. You know what? I'm going backpack, to, man. I'm going twenty. I'm going twenty nine ninety nine. I'll okay. go. I'll go up another. I was gonna go twenty four ninety nine, but twenty nine ninety nine. So you can go on Amazon and buy this for twenty five ninety nine. Suck a dick. Beep. So Stole my thunder. It's a backpack, dude. Just like that's standard backpack price. So, Chad, you get a whole zero points for that. <laughs> right, that's fine. No, that's the thing. It's it, sta- it's standard backpack. What is a standard backpack? To well, me, a standard backpack is North Face, L.L. Bean. Yeah, something Jan's that sport. you could actually get shot, you know, and get your stuff be okay kind of thing. I don't know. You can get shot in a Jan Sport and it'd still be okay. Yeah, we possible. should test this out. We'll test that. You wear the backpack, I'll shoot you. We'll put it up on, <laughs> no, the, on the Facebook page. See if your contents are still fine. <laughs> See, man, yeah, I'll die, but everything in there will be okay. Yeah. Because yeah. it's all settled to the bottom. <laughs> so the next one, I'm really disappointed uh, that Jeff is not here. This one is specifically for him. Man. Well, Jeff can suck it. So, right. so this next one is a group. <laughs> <laughs> Following our tradition, we've had Gringo Bandito hot sauce last week, or we had Stone hot sauce. This one is Tony Gwynn barbecue <laughs> sauce box of three. Oh, uh, three. God. How big are the bottles? Uh, three 14 ounce bottles of Tony Gwynn's signature sauce. So Tony Gwynn is a baseball legend in San Diego, <laughs> which isn't saying much because San Diego doesn't have much of a baseball legend. Uh, well, Tony, Tony Gwynn was good. Uh, sure. I don't know. I don't like baseball. Um, so this is for three of them. I really do wish Jeff was here because I want to hear him go off about how it's just star <laughs> crap. And it's like, who the fuck is Tony Gwynn? It's just blah, blah. It's stupid fucking baseball. Hang on, wait. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do a Jeff impression. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I know who Tony Gwynn is, but I don't really care. <laughs> and fuck baseball. Uh, but Jeff, why are you so mad? Three bucks. Three dollars. <laughs> All right, Jeff, three dollars. See what Hashtag happens, Hillary, for prison. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, you see what happens when you don't show up to your, like to the podcast, and we just rip on you the whole time, man. Uh, all, right. all right, Steve. Oh shit. Okay, it's a three pack. Three pack. Um, it looks like hickory smoked, like you know, standard it's barbecue. From, uh, sauce. I think Carlsbad something barbecue company, whatever. Yeah, because that's gonna make a difference. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't, yeah. I don't yeah. know. They're at the store. Yeah, they sell their uh. own stuff. Yeah, and it's got like this cool pinstripe, uh, you know, packaging up at the top. It's got Tony Gwynn, Tony Gwynn's signature on it. A really shitty silhouette of him too. There's no face there. It's yeah, just, that's it's not just, a good. It's no. stock photography baseball guy. That's all that is. Like, yeah, no it could thing. be anybody. Yeah. Tony Nguyen, Win or something. Okay, <laughs> um, the Vietnamese one. <laughs> uh, three pack. You want to think there'd be a markup because it's supposed to be like the Padres one. And it's Tony Gwynn's name on it, so they're trying to sell off of that. Mm, I overshot with the Grigo Bandito a long time ago. <laughs> really trying to think this through out loud. I'm going to say... He's, he's hurting to beat me on this. Really <laughs> I'm going to say $16.99. Okay. Chad? I'm going. I'm going seventeen ninety nine. I'm going to say the the Gwyn is one dollar. Me? You one dollar? No, I'm not. I was, <laughs> yes, you like, are. I was you going to go seventeen ninety nine? That's literally that, one dollar more than I'm Deviating from it before when you when you got you stole my thunder the twenty four forty nine. I thought fuck it. I'm going to stick with my guns. Seventeen ninety nine. That puts it about three. What is it? Six bucks a bottle. That's a premium. Yeah. yeah, it's a premium level barbecue sauce. <laughs> I mean, if you really wanted the good stuff. You get a quart of it for like 30, 40 bucks. What is the good stuff? The good stuff? Dreamlands. Dreamlands? Never heard of that. Never thought. Well, we're not from the South, that's why. Uh, like, I'm being serious. Like, I, like be, just from you living in the South, I trust your barbecue <laughs> judgment more than like I trust my own. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not fucking with it. I'm being serious. <laughs> no. Like, I know I sound like an asshole, but I'm not. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck. This is what I get for screwing around all the time. Nobody takes me seriously. No, no, I take you seriously. I 
I do. Yeah. That's, that's why. That, thanks. No, I, like seriously, I've had, seriously. A, <laughs> I've had a lot of barbecue in my time. Hell, I had barbecue this week. They had a food truck that brought it out. Lucky. Yeah, but uh, no, not really. Not that lucky. It was. It wasn't that good. Well, I mean, for fifteen fucking bucks, fuck out of here. No. Uh-huh. It was, a, it was a sandwich and basically one step up from Kraft mac and cheese bowls that you give a three year old. Yeah, it was it was just not that great for fifteen dollars. Who was it? Who was it? Uh, big something oh, with a D, uh, like Big Dev's Barbecue. Mm. Have you been to that? Phil's? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of that place? Because that's like the like many that's people the here. Place here. Yeah. Like yeah. Phil's is the place here. It's it's intoxicating as far as the smell goes, but it's over charcoal. It's that it, you don't get. Like any meat taste in or any wood taste in the meat. You, that's I think what you it's smoke. Pretty it for. good for how cheap it is. It's yeah. ridiculously cheap. Barbecue out here is super expensive too. Yeah, I mean I'm used to like, like two dollar to... pulled pork sandwiches. You know that are just oh. like yeah, perfect. But there's this there's this there's smoking bulls, which has great meat, but the sauce is. Ugh. Then there's uh, the smoked hog out like kind of North Parkish Park Boulevard area. Okay. Yeah. I've never been there. D- don't. Oh. Um, <laughs> there's Brazen, which I haven't tried yet because it is extremely cost prohibitive. Like, I, yeah, like, I can really have expensive. the money and I can't justify spending $20 on a plate when I've spent, like, literally as little as two on the same amount of more. You can go to Phil's and pay $7 and have a giant yeah, plate. Yeah, a huge thing. Seriously, I mean, they give so you good. one onion ring. It's like half an onion. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they seriously do it. That's how I judge... Um, barbecue places is not on the barbecue itself but how well they execute their side dishes because like you can do really okay. good you can do really good barbecue and they're like everybody's got their opinion on it but if you put the extra effort into like the onion rings the potato salad the coleslaw all that stuff that's what steps you up above everybody else in my book what well, about uh, like the chain ones like there's famous dave's or lucille's have you lucille's Tony romas no never been to those uh famous dave's is whatever lucille's is actually a, okay it's yeah. really expensive like you're gonna pay 20 bucks for your plate yeah i, I just can't i can't get behind that i can't yeah. you know mm. and tony romas boil that tony romas boil the ribs anyway it's not oh. even smoking that's disgusting it's like cheating kind of yeah it is well that's how smoke talk it came out and it was like just dripping wet with moisture and I'm just like okay, not, not in a good way. Not no, like not like wasn't. sealed moisture, but like yeah, like it was like it, it had been boiled. And I'm just like, don't boil the fucking meat. Just <laughs> smoke it for a really long time. That's all. Look, that's what pit barbecue is. You just you know let the coals smolder, let them do their thing, and lay some meat over it, and then get it off and pull the meat off. Yeah, that's it. It's not that hard to do. It just takes a lot of time. Yeah, and I think that's what it is. People don't want to invest the time, the prep of the day before. That's yeah. what it is. And this, this is going to taste like a bottle of chemicals. And <laughs> you're not, no, you're yes, not. No, way to bring it back. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, this stuff, it's not even, you're not even buying it. You know, it's like wet, back in the day, you know, about 30 years ago, they sold six packs of 16 uh, ounce Coca-Cola bottles. Uh, but they were commemorative because it was celebrating uh, Coach Paul Bear Bryant's, you know, big last win, last season, retiring, all that stuff. He was like the winningest NCAA Division One coach ever mm. at the time, you know, whatever. So there's all these houndstooth hats on it, silhouettes of him, you know, gay Alabama, Roll Tide, all that shit. People still to this day have not opened those coats <laughs> they just sit on a shelf and i i can only think how disgusting the beverage is in there even when you bought it it probably wasn't even real coke it was probably just fl- colored water because they knew nobody would open it and they still know i still my grandparents had one they had a six-pack sitting on the shelf forever so yeah this people want if they open this and they eat it they're going to be sorely sorely disappointed and if they're not, they have no taste. So, <laughs> they just don't know. Electors, I'm going to say, you know, barbecue sauce here go for about four to five bucks a bottle. This is going to be a little bit more. So, seventeen ninety nine. That's where I'm going to stick. Okay, so Amazon, Amazon Prime, you can get this for twenty ninety seven. Damn it, for three, which isn't too bad. That's so seven bucks a bottle. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pricey. pretty Again, pricey. Don't yeah. open it. Just leave it sitting there. Okay, the last one. It's super hipster. So this last <laughs> one is a three-speed turntable with built-in speakers. Ooh. So it's like a record, like a big record you put it on kind of turntable. But 
it's pretty sweet actually. It's a three speed stereo turntable with stereo speaker system, a USB port with cable included for converting vinyl records to digital format. Oh shit. With software included for recording, editing, and converting your audio content to MP3 format. Has an auxiliary jack for connecting your iPod, MP3, or other players to it. Includes the RCA line out jacks and stereo headphone jack. That is not hipster. That's pretty fucking cool, dude. No. Nah. Play, playing records is pretty hipster. Yeah. No, playing 100%. records on an old record player or a really, really modern record player, yes. Playing on like this all in one device that does it all, that's not that's people trying to be. Well it's cool. not like a CD player. No. That's a good point. What, okay, what's the scores real quick? I want to see where we're at. Uh so Steve you have ninety six and Chad you have seventy two. Okay. And what's the price range on this stuff again? To fifty bucks. To fifty. Fifty, okay. Um Hmm. The front looks like an old VHS tape player. It does. It <laughs> does. It looks like something from the 80s. It even has like the little icon for the uh, for headphones. the headphone jacks. Yeah. <laughs> it looks very retro. Um, I do think it's really cool that you can rip the – yeah, you can rip the vinyl from the record and then put it on – make it an MP3. It would be like really badass because it would get that scratchiness too. That, that would be whatever. pretty cool. Yeah. Like you just have that in the file too. That would be really cool. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go high on this one. I'm going to say forty by forty nine. <laughs> Do all right. Do we have a brand name to put on this? Uh, the picture says Jensen. Ooh. Okay. Um. Does that mean anything? Yeah. Oh, is that? I like, don't know. It's like bargain brand kind of. Yeah, they're 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 at the lower price points, but it doesn't mean that they don't make good stuff. Their stuff will last. It's just not going to be like super high quality. Not like Sony. No. Um. Hmm. For all the marbles right here. And I'm going to undercut it a little bit and say twenty seven ninety seven. So you just got to hope that I overshot. Yeah. Which I don't think may have happened. I don't know. It does a lot of stuff. All right. So this Jensen three-speed stereo turntable with built-in speakers. You can get this for forty nine eighty nine. dollars <laughs> ha wow. So Team Pokemon wins at 92 Woo! Team Anti-Pokemon loses at <laughs> 50 I'll take it. Gotta cut your mom. Pokemon. <laughs> you know I'm totally gonna beat you at Pokemon now. No, you're not. No, not you're... when I start getting on, dude. No, dude, no. I'm gonna. I'll, bro, you can we? If can I can we ever battle get each other? In, not yet. I think I can't, eventually. I can't even get in. I mean, geez. eventually you can. Well, okay. I, I hope so. We should like. We should set up it. We'll place. Uh, like we'll start here in like a couple, like three or four months out. We'll both train our team, a team of six, and we'll battle each other, and we'll see who wins. Okay. You want? Okay. Fuck. I start playing this game. now. You guys are going down. It's going to ruin my life. Yeah, you want to get on this? Yeah, okay. I'm already in. Fuck. That's See, right. Guys, He's got a head start. You, you guys have to drive to Balboa Park. I can just walk and find everything. I got my bike. There's stuff around here. I'm sure North Park's full of, oh, yeah. oh, Jesus. of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, I'll go downtown and find that shit. <laughs> I wonder what's in that big-ass parking deck they built over by the airport. Parking deck? Deck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how they choose their their sites because they're so random. Like one of them is over here. Like there's a pokey stop right over here at Sombreros, mm. and it's the mural on the drive through is the cool. pokey stop. Like, that's... did someone go around like take pictures of everywhere throughout the city? Or... No, but I bet you they might have. There might be an algorithm that that compiles that. That would have been the smart thing to do. Just like, like people's photos. pictures, like on. Or a Flickr or whatever else. Street View. But Street View wouldn't pick up a lot of these things. Hmm. Like it wouldn't pick up the drive through thing. It wouldn't have picking up or picked up the uh, well, thing, it did the little ask kids' to playground. Because I've got it set for to ask me all the permissions. It mm-hmm. did ask to access my contacts, my photos, my videos, all that stuff. So yeah. maybe. But it also knows the name of what it is. Like yesterday, I was learning what things at Balboa Park were called that I had no idea. Mm-hmm. Like there's a big tree, like walking into the Prado, 
and I guess it's like a something something tree sculpture. Like they all have names. Really? Yeah. Huh. I have no idea. No idea either. No idea. It's got to be. It's got to be something that they're pulling up from social media because there's no way a team of people. Because it's not just in America. It's like everywhere. Yeah, it's every yeah. country in the it's like they're slowly releasing in every country. So there's got to be something they're compiling up from like Instagram tags so or can, what or Facebook posts or something. Can you play internationally? Uh, if you have international data, I'm sure you could. Yeah, I don't see why not. So mm. if I go to Japan next year. Oh, dude! I'm gonna dude. get down on some oh, OG God. Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the motherland, dude. <laughs> Bring him uh, back, and I'm gonna wreck you, fools! Oh, God, <laughs> and he's talking in Japanese to us, like, "Oh fuck, what the hell?" <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna be like anime, like light shooting out of you and everything. <laughs> you're gonna, gonna buy that Pokemon forward. backpack and go on vacation to Japan, dude. You got to get the hat. You got to get the Ash Ketchum oh, yeah. hat, dude. Fuck oh, yeah. yeah. God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy. I'm sure this. that means there are gonna be so many more Pokemon uh, costumes for Halloween this year. Oh, totally. Hundred percent. It was funny. Um, I do. I follow uh, uh, male fashion advice on Reddit, and they had a Pokemon uh, fashion like uh, thing where you could dress up as like a reg, like a nor a normal like whatever person. So like yeah. like minimalistic, and then you could be a gym leader too. So there was a meme a while ago where like they had a picture of like Drake, and he had like a a cloud thing on. Sure. So they did all his like his six Pokemon that he would have, and Rihanna. <laughs> and the funny one was Taylor Swift. And it was all normal type Pokemon. Uh, just like Cause Jigglypuff. She, yeah, because she's basic as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, she's not that, that basic. She's dating Loki for crying out loud. She, Taylor Swift's basic as they get, dude. She's, she's dating Loki. She's fucking Loki. Yeah, again, a white girl dating a black guy. Basic as fuck. Is he black? I have no idea. Well, Tom Hiddleston is not a black guy. Oh, Loki, Loki. I thought you meant yeah, like... Yeah, I thought I it was Loki. <laughs> What's Get the... out of here. <laughs> I thought it was some rapper I've never heard of. <laughs> Sit down. My bad. Thanks. Anyway. No, so, what is it called? It's called Hiddle Swift, I think is how they're referring to it. Something, Something like that. Hiddle we'll Swift. see how long it lasts. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Let's wrap this up. Okay. Um. So we're going to start. Um. And if you're down here for a Comic-Con 2016 in San Diego, we're going to be out handing uh, buttons out to everybody. We're going to have our shirts on with the Covans cast logo. Stuff in the background, so if you see us, uh, swing by. We'll give you some buttons. We'll take some photos. We will be putting out a special podcast edition, a special episode for uh, for Comic Con to let you know what's coming up, what to do, what not to do. Don't yeah. be a jerk while you're here. Take a shower for God fucking sakes. Yeah, that's a good tip. God. That's just that's just a life pro. So tip. <laughs> much bo. There's Can you so imagine much how bio. many people are going to be hunting Pokemon during Comic Con, <sighs> dude? You know, there's going to be like it's going to get I, down. There's going to be, gonna be like, some like literal fights yeah. over. <laughs> Over gym battles. There's nothing worse Dude, than a nerd oh, fight. God, There's nothing worse than a nerd fight. God, this makes me want to go so much more now. Like, I'm just going to be around. I'm instigated. Like, oh, fuck that fool. <laughs> yeah, take him down. Your blast with this shit. Nah, no, no, no. Like, we will be coming out with, with tips and things on uh, what's going on after. Like, once you've gone to the pavilions and what have you. Seen what you needed to see. Basically, chicks in skimpy outfits, because that's probably why you're here. Totally awesome. Yep. Or if you're a chick in a skimpy outfit, you're probably here to be seen. So, uh, yeah, we'll yep. let you know where not to go, what to do. You know, we'll try to figure something out. Funny tip about, uh, you know, the girls who uh, are at Comic-Con who take photos? Like, they're the ones that are hired as models to, like, dress up as cosplay and people take photos with them. Um a little thing that they do is because so whenever they do hugs, they try not to go over. They try not to let guys go over the top because they have sweaty armpits and then they have oh, to get sweat. Disgusting. So if you notice, a lot of them do like the behind the back <laughs> hugs. They try not to go because they don't want like you know pit in their side. They don't want that arm on the shoulder. Pain. Yeah, and it's got uh, like sweaty. Under, right understandable. There. Yeah, yeah. So and I, it's always so hot. Yeah. During Comic Con. So yeah, when you guys are out, that, that'll those like tips like that'll be what we do and what we have. And like San Diego tips too, like, you know, where to eat, what to go, what else to see here besides just Comic-Con. Even though that's why we're all here, there's still other cool spots too. So, I don't know. We'll have a bunch of shit for you guys. Yeah, so that'll, that'll be out the week of Comic-Con. So, it'll be a week after this one posts. Yeah, so the 22nd, something like that? Yeah. It'll be like the 20th-ish, somewhere around in there. Somewhere yeah. around there. Okay. So, yeah, follow us on Instagram. Uh, I I usually do the Instagram. I think I'm the only person who posts it. I try to do funny meme shit. Uh, Facebook, Chad runs that pretty much. He does mostly, I don't know, what do you do on there? I mostly Game of Thrones mostly shock Game of posts. Thrones. That's what yeah, you piss people off. Uh, Rob controls the Twitter. He blasts I'm terrible us out. terrible at Twitter. 
<laughs> and then Jeff, uh, I don't know what he does. He sits on Reddit all day. He's probably on <laughs> Reddit he has right a, now. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's probably what he's doing. He's like posting shit on Reddit. Um, so, so yeah, follow, there follow right us there. The subreddit and say, yeah. Covalence Cast, right Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and the subreddit. And yeah. Peace out. Bye.